Good morning. It is, well, technically, it's nearly afternoon. It's quarter past 11. First off, I look a little bit crazy. I've got fake tan on my face because I'm looking pasty and I can't, obviously, fake tan until tonight. I've scrubbed the majority of my old fake tan off this morning and I washed my hair because last night I slept um, in my rosemary oil and the original hair syrup oil, like, in my ends. So I've just blow dried my hair, had a bit of a slow morning for a Monday, it's a new week so I thought I would just weekly vlog, I feel like I haven't done one of these in a few weeks and I do miss picking up the camera and just kind of chatting to you guys, I feel like there's some things to update you on, I am just waiting for Beth because we're going to go on a walk on the canal, some new things happening, I am kind of using today as a bit of a work day, a bit of an admin day, getting my week sorted, the weekend was super super chilled, I've literally spent the past few days reading, I started the series A Court of, a Court of Thorns and Roses, a bit of a mouthful, there's five books in the series and yesterday I read literally like some of the books are like so thick, I'll show you guys after. I'm on the third book and I read half of the third book yesterday because I like and the day before I spent hours and hours finishing the second book. I'm, I'm addicted. I haven't loved a book like this in years. Like I don't read as much as I used to when I was younger. I got really into the Colleen Hoover like romance kind of stories but I much prefer fantasy, a bit spicy, like magic lands and worlds. Like I feel like I can just get lost in that and yeah it's like a whole other world and story like if you don't read and you don't really care about that kind of stuff then that's for you but I always always loved like fantasy like fantasy films are my favourite especially like the old just like classic films like Never Ending Story, Labyrinth is one of my favourite films of all time I just love like vampires and werewolves and witches like I just find it more intriguing and entertaining to watch and to read so if you haven't heard of those books definitely go and check them out i think i paid about 30 pound which was on sale on amazon for the set of five books which was really good jack's away for work at the moment as well so i don't know when he's coming home so he worked saturday and sunday yesterday in birmingham i think he's still there and he, there was the potential that he'd be there all week he hasn't worked away for quite a while to be fair but um he might be home tomorrow which would be a bit early and he gave me i don't well i've already put it on instagram and now i kind of like oh should i have showed people that but i thought it was really really cute i don't really post much about mine and jack's relationship online um we've been together eight years this year not a soppy couple at all we're more like bully each other <laughs> he doesn't really care about valentine's day i feel like it's definitely more of like a girl thing to care about and like want to celebrate i guess but he actually gave me my gift that I wasn't expecting the other day before he left because he thought he would be away for Valentine's Day. But he actually got our names. Is it on there? Where's it gone? It's on here somewhere. He got our names engraved on this little heart necklace, which is really cute. He actually got me this little necklace too from when he was in um, Thailand. So both of these necklaces are from Jack, which is really, really sweet. I've been chatting for ages and Beth still has not left her house. Right, I'm gonna go and put my shoes on now and tell her to hurry up. <laughs> oh, I've just, just come back, I had to brush my hair because it's very, very windswept. I am gonna sit here now and write a bit of a list of things that I know I need to get done this week. But I've set up a business page. Like I said, I would say like launched a business. It's not necessarily like a registered like limited business or anything and I don't need to do that I'm obviously still self-employed but I set up a business page just called Fern Roberts Creative because I've obviously been self-employed for nearly like two years and I've done a lot of freelance work for like other companies other agencies and as much as like that's great and like I'd be in maybe a contract or something and have like a certain amount of hours a lot of that has changed over the past like six months or so and i've been like very up and down with obviously like stuff that i earn on my social media with like brand deals commission tiktok shop things like that and it's not really something that i can rely on at the moment that's gonna like purely that stuff is gonna like keep me going every month like some months are better than others i really want something for myself and like 
to create something that can be a bit more consistent or be a bit more reliable something that's maybe going to get me out of the house a little bit more because a lot of my work is online it is in the house like it's creating content like of myself and not other things i'm now trying to get back into photography a bit more so i'm just like playing around with a lot of my settings so i've got this camera here um which is my atd i used to film on this quite a lot with like sit down videos when i lived with my mum because i remember there was a lot of videos i found and the quality is a lot better don't get me wrong but it it's just a lot more faff to set up and takes up a lot more storage which I don't know and now i have like this camera obviously it's great for vlogging but if i was maybe doing like a haul or a makeup video like i do want to make a bit more effort i guess with the quality of stuff so i have this atd which i've had for a while i do want to grab a new lens but i'm basically gonna reteach myself a lot about photography and i think i might do a course at some point just like i haven't really used a camera for like proper photography of other things in so many years i am doing a lot more like content creation stuff like for reels for brands like behind the scenes stuff for weddings and birthdays and baby showers like a lot of just kind of like content packages and also getting back into kind of like social media management and influencer marketing i've got one client that i'm going to be starting with quite soon i've built myself like a quite a simple website i'll link it in my bio so yeah i'm gonna basically sit plan out some content bits some business bits I've got a contract to write up i think i've got some invoices to double check I've got some emails to get through so it's kind of been maybe an admin few hours and then i do have to film too quick tiktok so i've just come down to make myself some food i did a ginger shot earlier this morning as well i actually quite like the taste of ginger i don't do well with spicy hot things at all but ja and to be fair jack doesn't really like anything really spicy but he's been testing his limits more recently with like these kimchi chicken noodle things from costco for some reason when he went without me one time he picked up a bag of flaming chicken tenders which are spicy like i'm not gonna eat them but we don't have any other nuggets and i really want a wrap these are what they are flaming chicken tenders it smells nice but it smells spicy in the air fryer mm. they do smell spicy the spicy chicken so i'm gonna we haven't got any mayo either got a bit of sour cream so maybe the sour cream and a wrap with lettuce will have to do i'm gonna try it mm. I can deal with this. It's actually really cold, but I just try not to put the heating on in the house in the day until like later in the afternoon if it like really is it, but I'm actually freezing. And we don't have our living room door on yet, so we can't necessarily like keep the heat downstairs and we don't have a kitchen door. Like there's just no door there, there's no frame. It's just all like open through. So the heat doesn't really stay downstairs very well. It all travels upstairs. I need to, I need to do some content. This is like the only thing working from home that gets like me quite stressed is because I, I find it hard to stay productive and not get like distracted with things around me or just like wanting to do other stuff and like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow, I'll do it another day. Or like I should really just do it now because I'm wasting time like that I could be spent spending doing something else oh that's what i was gonna do i was gonna do vintage right i'm gonna film this one video that i need to film i don't really think i can do the other one today because I, I just i don't want to be on the camera i say that as in like i don't want to film certain things when i look like this but you guys on youtube you literally get the rawest version of me with like no makeup well, i probably look my ugliest um so you're welcome I have obviously got a towel on i've just got out of the shower and because my hair is naturally like curly and wavy the bits of the condensation like make all these little baby hairs and broken bits look like little antennas i actually did spin and i stayed for pilates as well so i've done two classes this evening came home had a bowl of cereal chilled on the sofa for half an hour obviously just had a a shower tomorrow's just going to be another day of i think some content I've had confirmation of a client um, that is happy to go ahead, so need to sort out that agreement tomorrow for work-wise. Just gotten into bed, got my 
trusty velvety primark pjs on i've had these for so long it's half past nine i'm just gonna text jack and probably say good night now because i'm gonna be reading my book for, probably for like two hours so now i'm gonna sit here and read some more of this i'm actually using my driver's license as my bookmark at the moment it's just so good i'm just gonna rave about this the whole time but apparently she does she has another series of books i think i mentioned that i wanted to get but it's called throne of glass and there's eight books in that some people are saying it's like insane maybe better some people are saying like this series is better good morning do a rather high angle on one of my kitchen shelves i've literally got out of bed five minutes ago i need a coffee desperately i've got one of the dolce gusto machines and i just use the cappuccino pods or sometimes i'll use the like Lidl or Aldi do a cheaper version, but I got these in Costco because they were more value for money. Then I actually get dressed and go to Aldi, I think, this morning before it like gets busier throughout the day because it is half turn this week. These are the flowers that Jack got me for Valentine's. One of the roses is drooping though. Need to get dressed. I mean, again, I was sat downstairs on the sofa for too long, but I was I was posting a reel, so it technically was working. My trusty. I literally wear these constantly. People are probably sick of seeing me wear these Amazon flares, but they're my favourite things ever. And I had this jumper on the other day. The house feels freezing cold again. It's colder than yesterday. The bin men have just come around, so I'm going to need to bring the bins in when I get back. But it's just started. Tipping it down with rain. Jack's stupid old PlayStation in the way. We do it now. So I need probably milk, bread, pan of chocolat. That's not <laughs> what I was meant to type. And some pop. So I'll be back once I've done my mini food shop. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. I don't tend to eat like first thing anymore. I will wait. I did go for a week or so where I wasn't eating until 12 and wouldn't eat past 8. It's like a form of fasting, I guess, but not, it's not drastic. I swear I'm just finding like really random places <laughs> to balance my camera. You're on top of my other camera and the flash at the moment. Uh, get ready and film a quick makeup TikTok, I think. And then I've got some outfit stuff to film. So yeah, I think I'm gonna straighten my hair because it's just, it's just a nightmare. I have step at five. So I've got until like half four to get some more work done and some content. How do I even manage this? I bought some new ghds i've got the platinum plus ones just finished filming tiktok this is what my makeup looks like i'm gonna get copyrighted right oh i need to take that down damn like she's over me she is down over me my phone is on low battery so i've just chucked it on charge um i'll leave it for like 15 minutes just so i can film i think i've got like another two tiktoks i need to do one for a jacket no one for two jackets what was the other one that i needed to do i picked up um some little sushi that i tend to get every time i'm in aldi that i'm gonna have for a quick a mini lunch Here we are, I'm gonna eat my sushi, read some more of this for 10-15 minutes and then go and film some more. I am back sat on the sofa. I have changed my top just because I've been filming two TikToks and I'm just waiting for my phone to load. So I filmed, well technically I filmed three TikToks because I filmed doing my makeup. But because I filmed it in 4K cinematic mode, when I'm putting it into in shot it literally takes forever to like load up all the footage because i was filming for quite a while so i'm gonna have to cut it down 
quite a lot. I've got like an hour and a half until I need to leave until the gym anyway, so hopefully my phone's loaded. I can edit that TikTok, quickly film the other one, and get ready for the gym. There was a change of plans in my evening schedule. I am not at the gym. I am in fact eating a waffle from Casper's because there were no pancakes being made. So I needed something and Jax joined me to have a Casper's before his football training. So just as bad as each other, but I did two gym classes yesterday, which is why I'm tired myself and I didn't feel too great earlier. God, I'm so tired. I'm just trying to figure out I might be doing another trip to London soon. I've been invited to go to the Pretty Little Thing showroom in London. I've been before for an event, but they actually do like little appointments where they will physically like invite you just for like a half an hour slot and you get to pick out some items to take home, which is really cool. Like I've been gifted from PLT quite a lot over the past few years, which I'm so grateful for. Um, but to actually be like invited into the showroom and like pick things from in there feels just like a little bit different. It's like a little bit more personal, you know? So I'm trying to figure out when over the next two weeks I can go there. Morning, no, it's not morning. I literally just said to myself, don't say good morning because it's not morning. It's currently half past 12. I'm going a bit stir crazy. I feel like today has been pretty quiet. Like I haven't really had anything on the agenda as such. I kind of wanted to just do a bit of like admin, kind of think about some business things. I have been creating a few um, like post ideas that I can post on obviously my business page, but I'm thinking I might get ready anyway because I might do some like last minute Valentine's date night outfit ideas so today is valentine's day it's wednesday if i can get it up quickly this afternoon it could just be like last minute outfit ideas of things you might already have in your wardrobe but i also want to pop to tesco for a few different like body things and it was basically like dupes of the brazilian bum bum cream sol de janeiro and i found a shower gel that's supposed to be like the dupe of it but i could never find a spray or a moisturizer but apparently tesco has them my tesco's not that big it's not like an extra um and i can't be asked to drive to the extra because it's like 20 minutes away whereas this tesco is like five minutes away i am ready i'm sporting a red lip for the first time in a while i thought it was just appropriate for valentine's day so like i said i think i'm gonna go to tesco and then come back and film some videos wow i found my little car thing I can't believe that i forgot about this and i never bring you guys in the car anymore my car's engine can be quite loud so i don't really know if you can actually like hear me properly if i get to tesco and they don't have anything that i'm looking for i'm gonna be rather disappointed i know it's only like five minutes away but it's gonna be a bit of a wasted journey <laughs> to like look at a few restaurants to see if me and Jack could maybe squeeze a table in somewhere this evening. We hadn't pre-planned anything because he was obviously supposed to be away working all week but he came home yesterday. Jack was like oh well I thought we could just like stay in which you know it's still nice like we could do, do food ourselves and watch a film. As I just pulled up into Tesco is it absolutely started pissing it down with rain again. Also, the girls just got, I say the girls, Beth just got his tickets. I don't know whether I mentioned it in this vlog, to the Shania Twain thing in Chepstow. £85. I mean, I'd love to see Shania Twain, so fuck it, but it's kind of expensive. Right, I'm just going to have to get caught in the rain. My Uggs are already ruined from the rain the other day, so who cares? Well, that was a big fat fail. They didn't have anything that I was looking for. None from the brand, I think it's Treacle Moon. Of the moisturizer that I was after, they didn't have a shower gel, a spray. They had no cute pajamas. There's a very small like F and F section in that Tesco. But the only thing I ended up getting was some food, because Jack just said like, why don't we just have some camembert? Um, and we usually either pick up like bread rolls or a baguette. I picked up a camembert. I picked up a large tiger bread baguette because we just love tiger bread. So I'll chop that up into little bits. Then I picked up two eclairs 
for dessert. And then as much as I did say that I was gonna have my granola and fruit as like a lunch, I saw this and I could not leave it there. It's a chicken katsu curry from Wasabi. I absolutely love these. In Paddington Station in London, they have the hot version, so like they're already cooked in the wasabi there. And quite a few times I've grabbed one of those to eat on the train on the way home. They're so nice. Had my food, it was lovely. Just grabbed a kind of, if you haven't tried this, I think I've mentioned it before. In Aldi, they do basically like Fanta, but Aldi version, and they do the lemon one, and they do the fruit twist. And I'm pretty sure they do orange, but I don't really like orange Fanta. I quickly film the reel I said I was gonna do, so I need to maybe find. I think I'm gonna do like four outfits. I'm gonna have a little rummage through of maybe like what I would wear. So yeah, but I need to, I need to tidy this. I just got stuff all on the floor and fluff from like my shoes. Filmed my little transition video. I did four outfits, Um, took the red lip off. I kind of wanted to try and do that like, transition of walking through the door and then back out the other side but where it's like two of you are kind of appear in the frame and move together and like i know how to do it on CapCut, but it just it's not it's not working because i think the camera must have moved ever so slightly and the lighting was slightly different just had to cut it so where i walk out and then walk in i kind of wish it was faster and i could have two of me in the frame then I've just got to edit that other makeup TikTok that I did. If I'm honest with you guys, I haven't really done too much since I last spoke to you. I've just put the camembert in the oven. Jack's just got out of the shower. So I think the camembert will take probably like 20 minutes in the oven and I've got the bread. Oh, I need to put the chicken in actually. I'll go and do that now. I'm gonna go and find a film that we can watch. Don't really know what I fancy. Jack never wants to watch what I want to watch. I like disney films <laughs> good morning i've just had i say breakfast it's kind of well it's half 11 so that'll be like a brunch today i was gonna go out and work but me and the girls are gonna go do a pub quiz tonight which means that i don't think i'm gonna go to the gym this evening because if the quiz is at eight they might want to get food beforehand which means we might go at like seven thursday's spin class is at six I was debating maybe to go and do spin at one in the middle of the day because obviously I can just move things around. So I'm not gonna go out and work from like a cafe or anything today. I've been also thinking about just again, some more like business things. I've just joined a Facebook group actually that's called, I think it was like South Wales business, small business owners or network or something. I'm also thinking of like more content that I wanna do for myself and obviously my socials and like, I don't know what I may be missing from TikTok and Instagram. So I feel like this year is definitely the year of like trying different styles of content. And I think the one thing that does stop me a lot of the time, especially with outfit stuff, I can easily film like reels and TikToks of outfits upstairs in like my bedroom or the wardrobe room where I just set my phone up obviously on the tripod, stick my light on and I can film in front of it. But if I wanna take like pictures of like outfits and stuff, I don't really like just standing in front of a plain wall anymore and I don't have anywhere that's very picturesque or aesthetic or that nice looking around where I live that's easy for me to like pop out. And obviously I don't really have anyone through the week that's able to help me take my content where I live. It's only if I go and meet up with someone in London or if I'm like out somewhere for the day and I do find a decent spot or I like at least go to Cardiff or something. Done it before is like mirror pictures and pictures to take myself and create in I guess more of like a background space. But my mirrors aren't tall enough that I can get, that I can kind of put somewhere. So I think I'm gonna have a little search now to see if there is anything and maybe just have to take the plunge and spend that bit of money because I think I'll use it a lot more for pictures. Maybe I'll put the big mirror in my wardrobe room or do I put it down here? I feel like down here makes sense because it's a lot more space but once our new sofa comes next month, we're getting a new sofa. I don't think I've mentioned it to be honest but it's gonna fill the room. It's a U-shaped sofa and it's gonna be quite big. Couldn't find anything for like the price range that I really wanted, like a frameless mirror. 
I'd really love one from William Wood, but they're about £300 and I'm not willing to pay that right now. In the range, they had a big, quite a wide and slightly taller arched mirror that I think it was like down to £80 over Christmas and I didn't get it. But a lot of people that I know online and like, I think someone I know in person did get it. So it's gone back up to £119 or £120 which still isn't bad and I think I like it because it's a lot wider like I'm not trying to cram myself in, if I'm taking a picture into something that's like maybe thinner. I have it in stock but I can't fit it in my car um, and I'm hoping that maybe Jack will like I get something in my head and I have to have it now. If I could fit that in my car I would have gone to get it a few hours ago or I have to wait to the weekend and maybe like Paige my friend could get a van from her work to come and get it with me. Maybe. Or I have to pay £10 delivery. <laughs> That's not drastic, I know. But by the way, I didn't go to the gym if you hadn't already guessed. It's ten past two. I feel like I just need to clean up all of my drawers again, all of my makeup drawers, have another clear out, clean some of my makeup brushes. And like this stresses me out of all my perfumes and like body sprays and moisturisers. I don't have anywhere to put them. I look a bit crazy because I've got fake tan on this like tanning pen thing. But I've cleared out the earring cupboard earlier. So I actually need to get a floorboard for the bottom of there and put carpet down and then I need to get shelves there. And I tidied up my room a little bit. So I've just kind of tidied this up and then I've got my body stuff to find somewhere to put. Got rid of like a few old bits of makeup and tidied up the floor. I've just got parcels though that have arrived today. I'm gonna close these windows now though because it's actually quite cold in here. See, I said earlier I was trying to get this like mirror sorted and then i did remember that james one of our friends obviously has like a little van that the mirror should fit in the back of but he's moving house this weekend so i did ask him i said um is like the back of your van clear and whether he was free tomorrow after work because i didn't really know what he was up to today but he's getting the keys i think tomorrow after work and then obviously busy on saturday so i think i said i'll help him like move some like boxes and stuff because he's currently living with beth and joel up the road but he said that he's free tonight like now i've got an hour till i need to go out with the girl so i don't know whether he he's going to check if it'll fit in the back of his van and then maybe we'll go down to town try and carry it together to put in the back of his van and he can bring it here we've just fit it in james's van <laughs> he just had to take his tools out to fit this in there good morning i have clearly just got out of the shower and washed my hair just turning half nine now but it's friday i don't actually have any plans this evening i've got to go and drop theo over to kurt's house because my mum's away uh Paige is actually going away as well and they've obviously got their dog loki so kurt is going to look after theo for two days i think i actually need to moisturize my skin first use my cordly serum my skin feels really dry but i just warm this up How lush is this? It's from Urban Decay. It's a moon dust palette and a primer. I had one of these when I literally first like started getting into makeup properly, like high-end stuff, the primer potion. That's crazy. This is the Space Rider eyeshadow quad palette. So it's got four of the gorgeous like metallic glittery. I have just spent way, way, way way too long reading the rest of that book like, i could not put it down i cried twice at those last i don't know 10 chapters oh, they're so good i just don't really know what's gonna happen next in these next two books because that feels like it should have been an ending but now i need to really dry my hair because i should have done this an hour ago just it wraps my hair and of course it just falls out straight away i decided not to go out to a cafe because i remembered it was half term this week it's a friday wasn't sure if like starbucks or cost or something would be busy and my laptop i mean literally just died so i've just plugged it back in and if i'd gone out with no battery on my laptop and obviously not found anywhere to be able to charge it that would have been pointless so that's the only thing that my fridge is good for is the bloody ice because the water coming out of the fridge is so slow that I'll be stood there for like a minute trying to fill up a bloody glass that should take 10 seconds 
Love these. I think these are from B&M. I got two of these glasses and then I've got glass straws that I got on Amazon. It's been another couple of hours. I have been just working at the laptop again. Nothing really exciting, but I do need to go and get Theo, Mum's dog, to take him to Kurt. And then I'm not really doing anything this evening. Jack's going to some sort of poker meet up with one of the guys that they go to poker with so i might go to beth and joel's because i think they're helping james pack up some of his stuff nothing really exciting this weekend so i think i'm actually going to end the vlog here as it's like the end of the working week and i've not really got anything exciting to bring you guys along with this weekend so i hope you did enjoy just kind of seeing a little bit more insight into what i'm doing at the moment for work realistic day in the life of someone who's self-employed figuring things out at the moment i guess as always i really appreciate you watching and if you have made it to the end of this video thank you so much if you did enjoy give the video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye